Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to cover exercise 4.1 of rational numbers of book Mathematics in Everyday Life. In the previous video, I have already discussed about the basics of rational numbers and introductory part. So in this video, we are going to cover all the questions given in exercise 4.1. Let's get started. Question number one says, write down the numerator and the denominator of each of the following rational numbers. The first part is 0 0.3. So in this question, the answer will be numerator is 0 and denominator is 3. Next part is minus 1 upon 3. Here, numerator will be minus 1 and denominator will be 3. Minus 5 upon 17. Numerator is minus 5 and denominator is 17. Let's go to the second question. Question number 2. Which of the following is are not the rational numbers? So, as we already discussed some of the basic properties of rational number in the previous video, let us recall one more time what is a rational number any number in the p upon q form wherever p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 are known as rational numbers so it is clearly written that we are using that three upon 2 is in the p upon q form and it is the denominator is not 0 so 3 upon 2 is a rational number 0 by 7 is also a rational, uh, rational number because it is also in a p upon q form. No matter that denominator is 0, it doesn't matter. You have to just see the denominator is not 0. Minus 2. This is also I have already discussed in the previous video that any integer can be a rational number because we can put a denominator as 1 with the integer and it can be formed as a p upon q form so it is also an integer 4 upon 0 i told you q q means the denominator denominator cannot be 0 in case so this is not the rational number again 2 upon 5 yes it is a rational number because denominator can be in negative as well and 1 upon 9 is in p upon q form, so this is also a rational number. So answer will be only 4.0. Question number 3. Write out the rational numbers whose numerator and denominators are as under. So here numerator and denominator are given. We need to write down the rational number. So here numerator is 3 and denominator is minus 7. So answer will be 3 upon minus 7. Denominator is minus 4 and numerator is minus 3. Please do take care of this thing that here they have given denominator first and numerator at the later stage to make us confused. So we will not get confused. We will write down the correct answer minus 3 upon minus 4. Because numerator is always at the top side and denominator is at the downside. Third, numerator is 15 minus 7 and denominator is 13 minus 6. So, 15 minus 7 will be, yes, correct, 8 and 13 minus 6 will be 7. So, answer will be 8 upon 7. Numerator is 7 plus 6 and denominator is 17 multiplied by minus 2. So, 7 plus 6 will be 13 and 17 multiplied by minus 2 will be 34, minus 34. The answer will be 13 upon minus 34. Question number 4. Express minus 4 upon minus 7 as a rational number with denominator what? Minus 28. So first part is minus 28. So students, we need to make a new rational number from minus 4 upon minus 7. And may, we have to make sure that the, the denominator of the new rational number should be minus 28. So we need to multiply minus 7 with a number so that we can get minus 28. So what is that number? 
7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14, 7 three are 21 and 7 fours are 28. Yes, we have to multiply it by 4, right? We have to multiply it by 4. So when we are doing these kind of things that when we are making a new rational number or equivalent rational number, in that case, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator with the same number. So here we got to know that we have to multiply minus 7 by 4 to get the answer is minus 28. So we have to multiply the numerator also by 4. So how to write down minus 4 upon minus 7 multiply by 4 upon 4 and we get the answer as minus 16 upon minus 28. So this is the new rational number with the denominator minus 28. Next is 35. So here we have to make a new rational number with denominator 35. So by what number we should multiply minus 7 to get 35? 5? No, not 5. It's minus 5 because we have to make it a positive number, 35. So it is 7 is in negative. So we have to multiply negative 5. That means minus 5. So we will get 7 5s are 35 and 4 5s are 20. So answer will be 20 upon 35. Third is 7. We have to make a new rational number with the denominator 7. And we know the number is minus 4 upon minus 7. So we have to multiply it by 1 but minus 1 because we have to remove the minus sign from 7. So the answer will be 4 upon 7. Question number 5. Express 6 upon minus 11 as a rational number with numerator now it is the same question just like as question number four but the difference is there it was given that we have to form a new rational number with the given denominator here we are have to make a new rational number with the given numerator numerator means the upper value so the numerator is minus six so we have to convert six upon minus eleven to a new rational number with numerator minus 6. That means we have to multiply it by minus 1 to make it negative. The so answer will be minus 6 upon 11. So second question 30. So we have to make a new rational number with numerator 30. So it will be 6. We have to multiply 6 by what? By 5. 6 multiply by 5 will become 30 and 11 5s are 55. So answer will be 30 upon minus 55. Third, minus 24. Minus 24 will be the new numerator. So 6 upon minus 11 will be multiplied by what? Minus 4, right? Because 6 4 is 24 and we have to make it a negative one. So it will we have to multiply by the minus 4. So answer will be minus 24 upon 44. Question number 6. Express minus 25 upon 60 as a rational number whose denominator is minus 12. The same question, same kind of question which we have done right now in question number 5. So, minus 25 upon 60, we have to make a new rational number with denominator minus 12. So, what we have to do here? 60 is bigger than minus 12, of course. So we here we cannot multiply, right? So what we need to do? We need to divide it with a certain number to get it minus 12. So what can be that number? We have to divide 60 to get minus 12. The number can will be 5, but it should be negative because we have to get a negative value. So we need to divide minus 25 upon 60 by minus 5, both the numbers. So minus 25 divided by minus 5 will become 5. And 60 divided by minus 5 will become minus 12. I hope you are getting all the questions clearly. Question number 7. Express 7 upon minus 13 as a rational number with denominator 39. We have to make a new rational number with denominator 39. 7 upon minus 13 will be multiplied by what? Because we need to make a denominator 39, so we have to multiply 13 by a certain number to get 39. But what will be that number? Minus 3 because we have to get a positive number from a negative 1. So we need to make a minus sign here. So 
so answer will be 7 3s are 21 and 13 3s are 39 like minus minus plus second part is numerator is 14 so we have to make a new rational number from 7 upon minus 13 with the new numerator 14 so we have to multiply 7 by 2 of course 7 to the 14 and 13 to the 26 minus 26 will be the answer because here we have 13 in the negative so the denominator will be negative question number 8 write down each of the following rational number with positive denominators so here we have a rational number with a negative denominator we have to convert into a positive denominator so what we have to multiply course we have to multiply 6 upon 7 by minus 1 into minus 1 upon minus 1 so it will be the answer will be minus 6 upon 7 because minus minus will become plus so 7 will be in the positive form next is minus 3 upon minus 5 so again we will multiply minus 3 upon minus 5 by minus 1 upon minus 1 we'll get the answer as 3 upon 5 because both were in negative so both have converted into positive minus 11 upon 5 same condition we have to multiply minus 11 upon minus 5 multiply by minus 1 upon minus 1 equals to 11 upon 5 4 upon minus 13 here we'll multiply by minus 1 again but we'll get the numerator in negative and the denominator in positive minus 4 upon 13 Question number 9. Write 3 rational numbers equivalent to minus 7 upon 8. So here we have to get 3 rational numbers which are equivalent to this. As I told you earlier, while making the equivalent fractions or rational numbers, we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same numbers. So here we are getting it simpler. So first we have to take you can take any number of your own choice but here I am taking 2, 3 and 4 to make it simpler and understandable. So first of all I am going to multiply minus 7 upon 8 by 2 and I am getting the answers as minus 14 upon 16. Now I am multiplying it by 3 I am getting the answer as minus 21 upon 24 and I have multiplied it by 4 so I got the answer as minus 28 upon 32. Again, I am repeating it. It's your own choice. You can multiply it by any of the number of your own choice. But make sure you are multiplying it with the same number, numerator and denominator both. Second part, again I will be multiplying it by 2, 3 and 4. So 11 to the 22 and 6 to the 12 minus 2. 13, we have it. We are multiplying it by 3. 11, 3 is 33. 6, 3 is a 18 minus 18 is the answer. 11 folds are 44 and 6 folds are 24 minus 24. Third part, 18 upon 12. So again, I'm multiplying it by 2. 18 to the 36 and 12 to the 24. 18 threes are 54 and 12 threes are 36. 18 folds are 72 and 12 folds are 48. One more thing to be noted, students, that here we have. 18 and 12 and both are even numbers so in such case instead of multiplying we can be dividing also it's not always compulsory that we are always multiplying to get the rational to get the equivalent number equivalent rational number so we can divide it here because both our numbers are divisible by 2 so i can 18 divided by 2 can be 9 upon 6 9 upon 6 can be also the equivalent rational number to 18 upon 12. I can show you one more example like 18 and 12 are divisible by 3 as well. Right? So we can divide it by 3 and we can get the answer as 6 upon 4. One more. 18 divided by 6 because 12 and 6 both are divisible by 6 as well. So here we have 6 3 is 18 and 6 to the 12. 
so whichever you feel like easier one whether multiplying part or whether dividing part you can perform you can do it accordingly find the equivalent form of rational numbers having a common denominator for each of the following so here we have first part 3 upon 8 comma 5 upon 7 so in this question we have to first of all find out the common denominator of both the rational numbers so for finding out the common denominator of course we will find out the lcm so lcm of 8 and 7 is 56 so first of all let us convert 3 upon 8 into a new rational number with denominator 56 which we have already done in the previous questions so we have to multiply 8 by something to make it 56 8 7 the 56 so we will multiply 3 also by the same number 7 so the answer will be 21 upon 56 same as i'll make 5 upon 7 also with the denominator 56 i need to multiply it by 8 so i got the new rational number that is 40 upon 56 so now Hence, 21 upon 56 and 40 upon 56 are the equivalent form of rational numbers having common denominator. Right? Next is second, 3 upon 4 and minus 7 upon 8. So here, LCM of 4 and 8 is 8. Same step. I'll make 3 upon 4 with the new denominator 8. So 3 to the 6 and 4 to the 8. Same here, minus 7 upon 8. Multiply by one, so it is minus seven upon eight. So here we have six upon eight and minus seven upon eight. Both are the equivalent forms of rational number having the common denominator. One more thing, students. Here I have done taking the LCM, but in your book, in the answer column, it was given that they have formed a new denominator from both. So what can be the next common numbers after eight, rather than four and eight? It is 16. So instead of taking LCM of 4 and 8, they have taken the new number that is 16. So you can do it this way also. 3 upon 4. So you have to multiply it by 4. So it is 3 fours are 12 and 4 fours are 16. Minus 7 upon 8. It should be multiplied by 2 because 8 fours are 16. So answer will be minus fourteen and upon sixteen. So it doesn't means that this one portion is wrong. No, this is also correct and this is also correct. So you can choose accordingly whatever you want to do. Third part: seven upon minus six and three upon four. So the LCM for six and four is twelve. Here. You must be thinking that the denominator was six, but I have taken the LCM of six and four. So whenever we have a negative uh, number in the denominator, we will not consider the negative part. We will take its absolute value that is positive six. So we will take out the LCM of six and four that is twelve. Now let us see how to convert minus seven upon minus six into the denominator twelve. So of course we will multiply it by minus two. So seven two is a fourteen minus fourteen upon twelve. Next will be four three is a twelve. Of course, three three is a nine nine upon twelve. Here we have minus fourteen upon twelve and nine upon twelve are the equivalent forms of rational numbers having the common denominator. I hope children, you have understood all the questions very well. So for my next video, you need to wait for one or two days more. So in that video, I am going to cover. the exercise 4.2 right so before leaving you what you need to do like and share my video and of course subscribe my youtube channel if you have not subscribed yet bye bye see you soon in the next video